The pubs of Leith were made famous in the Irvin Welsh novel Train Spotting. It followed a group of young Scottish men who'd fallen through the cracks in society. A lot's changed here since then, but not everything. Many folk will tell you they still don't trust politics or politicians. But you'll struggle to find anyone who won't cast a vote this Thursday. This is actually democracy happening, in my opinion. The first time I've actually seen it in my whole life. You have to take part. If you don't take part, then you can't ever say afterwards, if it went wrong, I didn't vote. We can make a choice. We can make a change. This is our time. This is our moment. The missing million, as they're known, aren't just chippy Scots. Plenty among them have been given good reason to distrust politicians. People like Jock Gordon, who was homeless for years. He's never voted in an election, but he's registered for this. So here's the message from the three Westminster leaders. How do they get a message through to you? How can they speak to you? They cannot. They, I, I've lived through the system people like this have actually made. How can they say anything that's going to make me feel better when they've left me with no money, left me destitute, left me on the streets? They, they can't say nothing to me. Pollsters don't tend to find or follow people who've never voted before. There are so many in this referendum that some experts believe the predictions we've had so far may be skewed. They're the people that are going to make it such a high turnout. Um, and how they vote, how they uh, how they voted in the past is not known. So it's pretty difficult to add them into the equation to come up with a, a correct answer. So the powerful are now pleading, and the marginalised take centre stage. This referendum really is a one-off. Martin Geisler, ITV News, Edinburgh.